Hi, physics. I was looking at the lesson for the inverse square law, and I thought, even besides the couple videos I sent you, it might be good to have some better explanation. I also noticed a couple quizzes. Uh, there were people not understanding what is going on. So here's what the inverse square law is about. If you get closer to something, something gets stronger, like gravity. Gravity gets stronger when you're closer to the planet. Light gets stronger when you're closer to the light itself. Sound gets stronger when you're closer to the speaker. And it gets quieter as you go away. The light gets dimmer. The gravity gets weaker. At what rate does it get weaker? So let's look at that. It's called the inverse square law because it has to do with this formula. Distance is on the bottom of the fraction and whatever value is on the top. And the distance is squared. Now, here's an example. Let's say, for example, here's a source of light. And here's the distance we are away. Now we double the distance. Here's 2D. Now, the light does spread out. So here's how far the light spreads out when you're the distance away. Here's how far the light spreads out when you're double the distance. Now, this has a value of 1. This has a value of 2. So some people would say, oh, it's spread out over twice the area. So the same amount of light is over twice the area. So it's dimmer. And some people say, well, it's half the brightness. But not only is it spread out in this way, it's also spread out in this way because it spreads out in two dimensions. So look at this. It spreads out over this and this, but it spreads out this way. So notice it's spread out over four squares rather than just spread out over one square. So the light is thinner by one-fourth. Now, how did we do that? Look up at the fraction up here. One. Now I want to have two times the distance, but I square it. Now look what happens to that. That becomes one fourth. So instead of being one half the amount of light, it's one fourth the amount of light that it was before. Let's take a look at another example. Here, you're one distance away. Here, you're three distances away. And not only is it distance in the vertical direction, it's tripled in the horizontal direction. So how many squares are inside? Nine squares. So this amount of light is spread out over nine, and it's dimmer because it's further away, so it's one-ninth. And how would that fit in the formula? One over three times d. The three is squared, so you notice that becomes one-ninth. Now, what if I'm working my way backwards? What if I go from here and go closer? It gets stronger by nine times from here to here. If I went from here to here, it gets stronger by four times. So the question I had on the quiz was, you're sitting next to a loudspeaker and you move away. What if you double your distance? Well, the distance is on the bottom. 2 times d, the sound will be one-fourth of what it was before. If you get further from light, it gets dimmer that way. If you get closer, it's just the reverse. And so take a look at this and see if this helps you. There were two pretty good videos. Check those out as well.